All right, this is page 121. And we are going to estimate to check reasonableness. In example one, you used estimation to check whether the decimal point was placed correctly in the product. You can also use estimation to check that your answer is reasonable. Example two, blades of grass grow three and 75 hundredths inches per month. If the grass continues to grow at this rate, how much will the grass grow in six and 25 hundredths months? Now they do all the math for you and you get an answer here of 23 and 4,375 ten thousandths. This is asking us to go estimate by rounding. So skip down to here. It says round 3 and 75 hundredths to the nearest whole number, round 6 and 25 hundredths to the nearest whole number, and then multiply those whole numbers. 4 times 6 is 24. And our answer, our actually calculated answer, was 23 something. 24 is close to 23. We are going to do this same estimation skill at the bottom of this page when we um, want to check our answers. There's different ways to check answers, but one way to do it is to just estimate. All right, so let's check out the bottom of this page. And what I'm going to do, a lot of kids don't like these bubbles right here. They just kind of don't really give you enough space. I'm going to do all my work uh, on a whiteboard off to the side. I'm going to do that for numbers 5 and 6. And it's it's hard to write um, and be neat on this, but I'm going to do my best. So on number 5, I'm going to do 7 and 14 hundredths times 6 and 78 hundredths. And I'm going to ignore the decimals, and I'm basically going to pretend this is 714 times 678. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 1 is 57. And you may have noticed I actually did that first line for you. Now we're getting ready to do the um, the 7 is in the tens place, so I'm going to put a uh, annex 1, 0 as a placeholder, because my first answer has to be in the tens place. 7 times 8 is 28, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9, and 7 times 7 is 49. I'm going to erase all those miscellaneous numbers at the top, and I'm getting ready to do my, my hundreds place, which means two zeros here. My first answer has to go straight down from that. 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and 6 times 7 is 42. And then I'm going to add all these up, 2 and 9. And uh, I think that's going to be 20. 16 plus 4 is 20. Yep. I'm going to go out of order here. 2 plus 8 is 10. 19 and 5 is 24. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. And 4. And I'm going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4 places in the, in the problem, which means 1, 2, 3, 4 places in the answer. So my answer is 48. And, the decimal means and, 4,092 ten thousandths. Let's check for reasonableness. This would round to down to 7. This would round up to 7. 7 times 7 is 49. My answer was about 48, which means that is reasonable. So we are pretty confident we got it right. Let's go check out number 6. I'm going to pretend this is um, 1,049 times 827. You can just totally do the decimals. I know it's not exactly the same thing, but you can just do the decimals at the end. So I'm just going to basically pretend this is whole numbers. I'm going to do the same thing. Um, we could estimate too right now. 11 times 8 should be 88. If I get an answer close to 88, then I'll be happy. All right, 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6 is 34. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. I am in the tens place, so I'm going to annex 1, 0. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. I'm going to annex two zeros here. I'm going to erase all these numbers up here so I don't mess them up. I'm annexing two zeros, and I've got 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 7 is, or 8 times 4 is 32, plus 7 is 39. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3, and this is 12. And 1 and 9 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Uh, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 plus 2 is 10, so it's going to be 20. 2 and 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 9. 
I remember I said the answer needed to be close to 88. It's going to be a 95 something. I'm going to count over one, two decimals. One, two decimals. That's a total of four decimal places. One, two, three, four. So the answer is 95 and 223 ten thousandths. I already estimated to say that's close enough. All right, let's go check out number seven. I've got enough room to do it up here. I've got Rico bicycles at an average of 15 and 5 tenths miles per hour. What distance will Rico bicycle in 2.4 hours? How many miles is that? So that's going to be 15.5 times 2.4. We'll again pretend that they're um, whole numbers. We're going to do 155 times 24, and then we'll move the decimal over two places. 4 times 5 is 20. It's too messy. Let me fix that. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Annex is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 2 times... 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Add this up. 0, 2, 7, and 3. And uh, then I count over 1, 2 places. And 37.20 would be the same thing as 37.2. I guess I'll put that on the line. 37.2. You can drop that 0 at the end. Uh, and then we got to check for reasonableness. 15.5 uh, really could round up or down. 5 is right in the middle, so we could round that up to 16. And we could round this down to 2, and 16 times 2 would be 32. That's close enough to 37. Uh, and that's really what the, that's really what um, you can do to um, check your answer on number 8. Number 8 says use estimation to show that your answer to 7 is reasonable. So 15.5 um, is close to 16. 2.4 rounds down to 2. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 is close to 37. 37.2, I guess. All right, good job. You are done with page 121.